back in with who lisa she's live at the community garden in fair oaks phoenix park hi who Hi, good morning to you. It's not quite a Christmas tree green thumb, but it's like getting there. <laughs> I am learning so much this morning, hanging out with this community. And it's so fun. It's such a neighborly, like you said, neighborly kind of a feel. All right, so I told you a little about a, a quiz. And I'm not talking about carrots, okay? I'm talking about this over here. I'm going to get help from my friend Cynthia, who's been here about four years. I said, what a lovely bowl of veggies you have here. I can recognize a few, the zucchinis, uh, the squash, and the bell peppers. But this, my friend, is a cucumber. Oh, that's a cucumber. That's the English. Cucumber. That's the English cucumber. What about this one right here? That is a dragon tongue bean. A dragon what? tongue bean. Have you guys seen this one before? Yes. Now, how do you eat this? Uh, you can just uh, steam that or cook that up just as it is, or you can go ahead and let it mature and dry, and then you can harvest the bean and you can actually cook the bean cook then the as bean. well. So, oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, quiz. One more. One more quiz. Because look how pretty this flower is. Tell me the name of this one. This is called a kufia, oh. tiny mices. And, uh, <laughs> and the uh, flower looks like a little mouse. Oh. So the face is purple and the ears are this kind of reddish uh, orange color. Uh, it's a great pollinator. The bees. We see uh, lots of bees, bees too. Bumblebees and hummingbirds love this plant. Wow. So you get a whole 20 by 20 space here, yeah. and you can choose either vegetables or flowers or a little of both or hops. Someone's doing hops over here. But you guys, I mentioned the pumpkins. My friend Linda over here. She's about to plant pumpkins. Mm hmm. She is indeed. <laughs> and you said you've been here about four years as well. So go ahead and take us because we've tried to plant pumpkins and we failed miserably. <laughs> okay. Well, what I did was first um, I, I harvested all my beets last night. And so that made room for the pumpkins. Yeah. I started these at seed at oh. homes because I needed room. But I, I suck a few in between the beets just to see if they um, germinate and they're coming up. Nice. So, okay. So go ahead and do that one. Okay. And then the grandkids come over I'm and they have their own little pumpkin patch. How cute is that? So when when will we have those pumpkins? Um, beginning of October they should they'll be ready. Uh -huh. um, it's a 90 day from seed to uh, picking. Okay. Any so secrets they were, that um, you might offer us. Well, I my friend Dave over here taught me that you uh, you soak the seed for about 24 to 48 hours before you put it in the ground. Okay. And other than that, I just keep it moist, and and uh, the first couple of days I water it quite a bit, and then you almost let it get very dry, oh, so the roots okay. spread. Nice. Look at that. I am learning so much. Oh, so sorry. Okay, we're gonna mosey on right back here because I got another little story that I want to tell you guys. See these berries right here. Uh -huh, so apparently uh -huh. there's another woman who has a garden here who um, had, she's from Russia and she had these berries and she, everyone loved them. So you'll see little berry patches all over and one family has literally done this whole thing right here. And so her kiddos will come out and actually pick berries. How cute is that? That is cool. Very cute. Love it. The berry oh, fairy. So it really is a community feel. The berry fairy. It's the berry fairy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now I know what you're all thinking. How do I we get thinking. in on this? Unfortunately, you can't. You got. Yeah, I know you are. You have to get in on the waiting list, and there is a few people <laughs> on the list. But they say that uh, it doesn't take too much time. But you might. Are you on the list? Too? It's just so beautiful. Um, not quite yet. I don't feel like my skills are just quite there yet, but, <laughs> but I am telling you, it is so cool. There's families out here, just a bunch of neighbors and just hanging on out. And, and like I said, they've really said how, especially during this time, yeah. it really has been fantastic. You know, that whole social mm -hmm. gathering here in the garden and, yeah. and, and you know, just being outside, you being know, outside, so there you go. Social so distance if you're in the, in the dirt, Phoenix yeah. park area. Yeah. I'm so proud yeah, of Lisa because like there was a so time when she would just walk by a plant and you could hear them <laughs> scream. If she went wow. by, and now she's making friends. <laughs> she is with the she vegetation. Is. Yeah, <laughs> you are well on your way to that green thumb, sister. Oh, hold on! Wait, huh? wait, wait! Oh, come oh, over here! Come oh. over here! Oh, is the very fairy back? Wait, one more thing! One more uh, thing! Okay, yeah. see right there? Do you guys know what that thing is right there with the purple? Um. Well, go ahead and give us the answer because we kind of know. Artichoke? It's an artichoke! It's an artichoke! You know yeah. we love artichokes. If you artichokes. look just above. I know we love artichokes. So this one right now it's like flowered, but the one above in the plant and the one right behind it, that one is ready. Mm. So yeah, you know I love me some artichokes. Oh, I see yeah. some strawberries over there. Yes. I'm telling you, isn't this awesome? It is awesome. I love it. I can't wait to so see cool. what you, you plant. Go find the dip plant and we'll put them together. That sounds good. <laughs>